<laughs> we're uh, we're talking about driver's ed experiences and I, I have Linda. I have a lot of them even though I didn't actually get my license till after I was married but, but I was your driver's ed in Sydney Montana the teacher's name was Mr. Hunky Hunky that's funny H U N K E and did he get a lot of like, No he wasn't like that much he wasn't of a hunky, hunky. no <laughs> Sorry if anybody out, but people that fr- are from Sydney will remember Mr. Howard Hunky. Um, he was actually the band teacher. Well, did people like make fun of his name at all? Nobody. I, mean, no, I tell you, think that kids no would one do that. would make fun of Mr. Hunky because he was. If you made fun of Mr. Hunky, you might get in trouble. Well, you, back then it was a different. <laughs> maybe, kind of they, respect, maybe they maybe they did, but I wasn't like I wasn't actually in oh. the band. So are we hooked up? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, you were in a new set here, so yeah. sorry, we might be discombobulated. Well, so my driver's ed teacher, I can't remember his name. It was a pretty normal experience in suburban, you know, suburban Chicago in the 80s. Um, but I learned how to drive a stick shift from my Good one. future husband then. Oh, when we oh, met, the Mike guy. had a, <laughs> yeah, Mike had a five-speed, and it was new. And his um, name was he, Mike who? My husband. Oh, I thought you were talking about the other, the high school. No, I don't know okay. what his name, I can't remember his name. Um, huh. But yeah, Mike, my future husband at the time, um, taught me how to drive a five-speed. So he was very patient. Oh, mine was I not. Was, okay. Yeah. We, he tried to teach me in a big empty parking lot, and he kept saying, you ran into a car. I'm like, there's not a car there. <laughs> so I, I never, he made me cry. So I ended up doing a private lesson. Okay. And um, that guy was really nice, and I passed my test, bam, just like that. Bam. So you got licensed. You took driver's ed, but you didn't get licensed yeah. until you had to when yeah. you were married. Yeah, and the reason I really didn't was because the summer I was taking driver's ed, my sister was getting ready to go to college. Oh. And so my, my mom and dad were, like, busy getting her ready, and nobody wanted to drive with me. Really? So That's it just kind of let it lapse until mm-hmm. until, I really, until I really needed it. We were living in Albuquerque when I got it. So. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very good. Mm-hmm. Well, we're going to be not chatting about driving anymore. Yep. <laughs> it's time to move on to our Tuesday chat. Yep. So the biggest thing that's happening this week is our local yarn store day. Yeah. So it's uh, Saturday, April 17th, and um, across the nation, yarn stores everywhere are yeah. um Go kind of show some, some love fun. to your local yep. yarn store. And we get it. You guys love us all the time. We're so grateful. I mean, seriously, it's awesome. Um, and I have sort of mixed feelings about a big LYS day, but um, it's, you know, because we're still in pandemic and stuff. So um, some people might feel nervous about coming into a big crowd. And so we don't really want to push that. So, but I think we'll have just a nice steady, steady flow. Well, we have some nice. really fun things yeah. for you to see. To celebrate. And one of them is some special yarn colors from Polka Dot Sheep. So this color is called lavish, and isn't it gorgeous? It looks like an English garden, I think. Or I mean, rhubarb. Does you this said rhubarb? Okay, because I haven't seen an English garden in person, but you have. <laughs> yeah, it could be an English garden. The the green in there is especially. Yeah, pretty, it's I think. gorgeous, and it has a uh, coordinate. A coordinate, and that's called trago. Pretty, but they're going to be stores. So we have lavish in i think what four bases Mm -hmm. so uh bulky worsted dk and fingering Mm -hmm. and then this i just have in dk and worsted so but they're going to be beautiful together so this is a very limited quantity so okay so other things that day a digital pattern of your choice as our gift to you so come into the shop with like a couple of options maybe of your queue um patterns that you are hoping to make and we will gift it to you um, um, a free as digital. long as it's an in-store purchase through Ravelry. Um, most, you know, a lot of designers make that a thing. So, um, but if we, we can't, we can't just, anyway, it's easier for us. And it makes sense on local yarn store day, of course, right. to do that. That's right. So that's our gift to you. With purchase. With right. purchase. Yes. Uh-huh. Another gift to you with purchase are these really cute, look at that martini glass. I don't know if you can see it. But um, these are made, Katrinkle's made these for us, Katie and her team, 
and it's a one inch tassel maker and that makes a tassel oh, that was this cute. size <laughs> and it has um, our new address down at the very bottom so effective June 1st you could look at this and say oh that's where they are let's go yep put it on your key yeah. ring so your car knows where to go anyway and then you make <laughs> these tiny tassels and um, so again with purchase everyone's getting that we'll have a few other little giveaways um, We'll have some new Madeline Tosh in the shop. We'll also have our famous mystery bags, you know, yep. like the $5 bags yep. where you don't really know what's in there. We're going to be working on those today. Got to put those together. Yeah. Um, going to have else? a little bit of, you already said Mad Madeline Tosh. Right. Um, we oh, might yeah. have some earth yarn. That should be Sock here. kits are going to be in. Yeah. Sock kits? Yeah, mm -hmm. those are going to be fun. I, yeah, it would make me want to make a sock. Yeah. Yeah. So lots of ways to just make a little purchase to support your favorite LYS. Again, if you don't live here and live near another one, go and support your local yarn store. Yeah, and so we mentioned polka dot sheep, a uh, yarns that that we have for mm -hmm. it, but also polka dot sheep is offering a, a um, yeah a subscription box She's called starting one uh, knit and nosh. So if you can't imagine, it's all about knitting and eating. Which is one of our favorite things to do. And hers too. <laughs> um, a lot of us. So that is not really part of LYS Day. I mean, we're switching right. gears yeah. for another thing that's on tap. Um, it's a subscription box that um, she's got a deadline of May 3rd to um, sign up and pay for. And you'll get um, a box. Actually, the boxes are coming to us. You'll get them through us. Um, but it's polka dot sheep yarn exclusive colors that she's dying for three three different months so may june and july right um and then you'll get um an exclusive pattern in there yep three different patterns and um cooking theme a recipe right. and cooking and, and then I a think few some little like cooking gadgets I some guess. gadgets yeah. so kind we're of kind of excited about it it's a brand new thing for her mm -hmm. and um the opportunity came up and we thought it would be a great way for us to to partake in something, especially during our busy time of, of moving. moving. So, right. Yeah. So that, and that, again, it's a pretty quick deadline. Um, May 3rd is the deadline to, um, and we have the information on our website. Yeah, and we and we will get it on the email tomorrow, too. Yeah, so, so you'll have the details there. Right. So you could think about it a little bit. It's, again, three months of subscription, and you would get your first one at the very, like, 25th of May. Right, yep. So kind could of be that. a chance for you to come and get a sneak peek at the shop because we won't officially be open yet downtown, but oh, we would, of course, right. hand you I your box. think about that. That is and true. And maybe you could get a peek inside. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wouldn't that be That'd fun? That'd be fun. But a lot of you, a lot of um, our customers love polka dot sheep yarn. I know we We've do. We've got a great following. Oh, yeah, we love it. She's and always she's, got. Yep, up in Whitefish in some places in the world. That's like a totally different country. But <laughs> in our well, neck of the woods. Well, it's kind of far it's, away. It's so. local. It is, right? It, she's, a, she's one of our local dyers. So there's that. Okay, what else? Um, now we're going to, uh, I think, uh, the little knit a, lo knit a little. Knit a little long. Because we got a restock of the book. Yep. Here's the book. Cute, cute book. We talked about it before. They're Twelve like, awesome little babies kiddo sweater they're like, patterns. They're mini me versions of her big yeah. sweaters. Plus a lot of hats for every head size, so that mm -hmm. um, it's a great hat for anybody. Uh oh, oh, male person oh, coming. She's coming. Do we in. have something? Not really. Okay. Yeah. So there's that book. We got a restock. Oh. We already sold the first shipment we got, so we restocked that. We also have that little knit a little long. Yep. Which um, actually. And so, Ashley. Ashley Look at that. Isn't that cute? She so which one is one. this one? Wildflowers. Wildflowers. That is oh, the Oh, I love it. And that's out of Chickadee. Yes, that's so cute. That is so cute. And the buttons just really make it. I love the color. I beautiful. love that color. Look at the beautiful pattern. Can we see it? Mm -hmm. Anybody wow. can wear that sweater. If that you're is that so size. Cute. <laughs> Provided you're that tiny. <laughs> yeah, that's darling. That's so, the smallest size. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. 
That's so really does she cute. say kind of what size that is? Like six months, isn't it? Zero to something. Not the Ely six months. <laughs> no, I think it's zero to six months probably. So could at least wear this? Um, no. I she's think ten it, months old. Yeah, I know, but she's like she could not a wear tiny, this sweater. It might be too long. I don't know. I'll have to well, try it Well, I on mean, her. seriously, though, she could wear it. You she, could yeah, roll she up could the wear sleeves. It for sure. She's just like super And she tiny. could wear it for a long time. That's true. <laughs> That's so I, cute. I actually put her in a baby vertebrae that, sh that Alice made mm -hmm. this morning, and it's still. Alice made a sweater this morning in one morning. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, let me reword that. A while ago, she made a sweater, and actually, I finished it for her. But um, <laughs> Details. But it's a baby vertebrae, and it's a pretty tiny one, mm -hmm. and I still had to roll the sleeves up, and the sleeves were quite roomy. Really? But it looked. It looked good on her. Oh, yeah. Kept her cozy. That's the nice without... thing about knits is you yeah. can roll them up. I and know. Yep. They can grow with the kiddos. What sweater are you wearing, Linda? Because Brooke says that she loves it. Well, Brooke, thank you. What is this called? <laughs> is it the seventh? No. 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 Prairie. No. Okay, so it's uh, from two years ago. Uh, well, maybe it's three. It's a blue sky fibers. It's a blue sky pattern. fibers. We did it as a knit along, mm -hmm. and I'm using the organic cotton. Uh, cotton. I did do a couple of little details that's a little bit different. Yeah, yeah I have your back. back too. Mm -hmm. Little. Um, I don't remember, but Brooke will let you know. Okay. We'll I, I, I have pretty, the, I knit the same sweater right. in a different shade of lavender. Right. So I it is uh easily found yeah, on Blue it Sky is. Fibers website. So. Okay. Yeah, so thanks cute. for asking. Thanks for asking. Because I'm a little not, it's a little shorter than I normally would wear. It was So cropped. I'm a little bit kind of self-conscious a little bit yeah, about Yeah, we don't it. have our it. table Thank in front you. of us. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we talked about that. So send a lot of people are doing the little knit along, and we would love to see pictures. If you can yeah. hashtag us or send us a private message. Um, or email with the picture that would be awesome even in progress yes oh yeah sure. we love the in progress mm -hmm. pictures yeah. the most actually because that's usually where everything's at mm -hmm. yeah it's <laughs> in cute. progress it's cute okay so uh now we have a brand new yarn okay i'll hold that okay. Okay. You, and i can hold okay. that and then you hold you hold the pattern there's pictures. a beautiful okay. coconuts tote full of camper all right, so this is a brand new yarn from Kelbourne Woolens. It's called Camper, and it's basically the little sister version to Scout, mm -hmm. which is one of our most beloved yarns yeah. in the shop. You know, it's one of those yarns that's going to be good for everything. Yep. Uh huh. Yep. It's a yes. great yarn. Um, we so it, oh, one it's thing. officially debuting, I think. The 15th. Yeah. But one thing that we forgot to mention is um, oh, when you, we for. have, uh, These little when cards. you buy the yarn, yeah, we'll give you no, this. Don't show them the code. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give you a card that has a code for a free pattern from their new collection. Yes. And, and so, they are so cute. Yes. Courtney and Kate and whoever helps them design patterns really have some really fun designs. And technically, they're not releasing these till the 15th. So you guys are getting a sneak peek. Sneak peek. We're not going to tell you the names, but we'll show you how cute they are. So um, there's a kid cardigan. Look at that. Beautiful sweater. Um, think This is fingering weight wool, yep. non-superwash. 200 yards in each skein. They retail for $9.25. Um, yeah, it's a great deal. It's good and boy, the color do palette they feel nice. Yeah, I mean it's the same palette as Scout, but it's fabulous. I was just thinking this looks like strawberry jam. <gasps> I love this one. The colors. They just do such a nice I know. I love the way that they, they put colors together over there. Yep. Um, I'll put this behind. Sorry, Here's some a, fuzzies are This like is Selbu. Well, and uh, this is a Selbu inspired hat. Cute. Isn't that oh, pretty? that is darling. Yeah, it's really pretty. So we're excited about Camper. Um, yeah. We, we love, um, Kelborn's yarns are always um, well received here. We're happy and, and honored to really have them. And really nice to knit with. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, anything. Oh, it's going to fit here like. It's really squishy and soft. And, it is. Um, I could yeah, take a little beautiful. nappy. And Scout, Sorry, a nap. Scout is um, the big sister to it. Um, 
and everyone in the shop loves Scout too. And look how pretty. Don't forget about Scout. Look how pretty these look together. They're like the same colors right there. Did you talk about the code? The yes. Yes. It's a secret yeah. code. It's a secret you code. Get I almost showed it to everyone. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you'll get the, you'll get, um, yes. Yeah, so if you buy Camper, we'll give you this card um, for one of those complimentary patterns at this point with the code from um, Kelborn. Oh, and I didn't really mention, but that little bag that we have all the yarn in is our coconut Coco Knits Cracked Caddy. Mm -hmm. Look what it holds. Pockets. <laughs> I know. A whole a lot. assortment of camper. The entire color. You could go yeah. camping with your camper in your camper and bring this caddy in the camper. Craft caddy. Be good to it's go. A camper craft caddy. Fun. Let's see. Um, oh. The okay. Nepe, Nepe shawl. We don't right. really know how to pronounce it. It's N A P P E. It's designed by a Polish gal, Justina Lorkowska. There we go. This shawl is absolutely beautiful. I think it's relatively easy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it just has some different stitch work in the different uh, panels and. We just think that, and it was actually designed with Lana Vendele right. in mind, they, right? Yes, they, um, she, you know, she worked with the Lana Vendele ladies and did that. It's a great, you know, sometimes these really simple designs are the most effective way to show off a yarn. fabulous yes, yarn. and stunning yarn, so, which that is what Lana Vendele's yarns are. So if you get the yarn for this shawl, you'll get the pattern for free. It takes five skeins of the Lana Vendele, the chic blend, mm -hmm. so. And we have lots of combos you could put oh, together yourself. They're gorgeous, so. Yeah, so that, they, we saw them visiting um, together about it on a Instagram Live thing. Um, so that was kind of fun, fun to see those ladies again. Um, so that we, I think we put out since our last little chat last week, so we thought we'd mention that. What else? Um, well, there are 52 weeks of shawls, so that is going to be released extremely soon. Yep. But we're taking pre-orders, mm -hmm. and we've had a few people take us up on mm -hmm. it. And the shawls that are in this, and they're kind of a variety. Like, they're not all shawls, because honestly, this is a That's cowl. A cowl. Yeah. But um, Can you see through that, or can you see it? Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, because it's kind of, uh, yeah, it's pretty. I don't know the exact name of that one, but that because I don't actually think they've given us the they exact names of these and they're them, not yeah. on the um they're they're not actually released as far as like they're not on Ravelry to find out they will out. not be digitally yeah. released yeah. these are only in the book only in the book so so what a beautiful way to have a coffee table book yep because that is what it is with the ribbon you know page marker mm -hmm. and then the practicality of all those beautiful designs yeah, um, and I can't even count how many designers are in that. But if is it I, fifty-two different ones? I don't think so. Uh, maybe I, there is. I, I don't know. Like but is. if you look at the description on our product page, I've actually listed all of the designers. So Stephen West is in mm -hmm. there. Yeah, there's a lot Those of are great really great designers in there. So yeah. yeah, and they call it contemporary shawl knitting, which right. I think. Um, speaks to yeah. what the design is. Right. Would be. They're not super traditional. You're, well, you're just going to look, you're going to look up to date in any of these. So, yeah. That's, yeah, they're gorgeous. Yeah. The ones, and they've, on, if you go to their social media pages, they are, they've got quite a few, you know, photos of these beautiful designs. And I don't that think we mentioned out. it's Lane Magazine. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. They're it's the publishers. Lane, right. Yeah. Same people that did 52 Weeks of Socks. Mm -hmm. If you want to go follow them on Instagram, mm -hmm. L A. E, and it right. could be pronounced Lina. Lina. Well, we've, from it, Finland. we've heard it pronounced a couple different ways, and mm -hmm. I feel like I heard a, a video of them, and they said Lane, or, but I could I be, think that means I could wool. be wrong. But oh, I yeah, it does. Completely flying it definitely the does mean wool. Well. It okay. does. I've looked that up. All right. So. Okay. Cool. Well, okay. I think that covers a lot today. We covered so a lot. See you on, on Saturday. Saturday. Bye. Have a great week. Thanks.